Ah, the Sega Dreamcast. I got the Sega Dreamcast back in 09 on eBay. And it took me 10 bids to get freaking to get a Sega Dreamcast, but it was worth the hundred or so bucks I spent on it. Why? Because the Dreamcast has a great collection of games. So, memorable games such as Crazy Taxi and uh, many, many, many other games like House of the Dead. But one game that stood out behind all of the super of the Dreamcast uh, library is Sonic's first real and successful jump to 3D. The best-selling Dreamcast game is what I'm talking about, Sonic Adventure. The game was released back in 99. Uh, I believe it was a launch title. And you know, when you when whenever you saw like commercials for the Sega Dreamcast back then, it always had footage of Sonic running in Emerald Coast to, you know, run away from the whale. Oh, yeah. That's memorable. But why is this game truly great? I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, you can tell by the title of the game, Sonic Adventure. That you really do go on an adventure. There's more exploration involved than in any of the Sonic games. In Sonic Adventure, they introduced some sort of hub world where you could explore around the entire town. And you could talk to people and whatnot. It's a good... It's a... I feel like it's a good addition to the series. But I can live without it. But, you know, it's still great. I think it's a good addition and it's very unique. And they're thinking of new ideas unlike the Nintendo. So... Sonic Adventure, you could play as many different characters. First, you could play as Sonic, who is speed oriented just like he always is tails where you basically just um fly around knuckles where you could glide around the entire um map uh looking for uh missing pieces of the chaos emerald or the master emerald sorry and uh then there's amy rose who is basically kind of like Sonic, except it's kind of more slow-paced, and you always have to run away. You have to escape the robot. It's a good feel of excitement, and I have to get out of here or else. That's kind of how it feels like. And she also carries her Pico Pico hammer. So she, if the robot comes up to her, she could stun him for like two seconds or something, but then she has to GTFO or else that robot's going to go crazy again. And then there are two other stories that I do not like. First, let me talk about Big the Cat story. Because that makes the most sense of why I dislike it. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Big the Cat, you could basically primarily only go fishing. There are some kind of things where you could just explore around the stage, but it's not really that fun anyway. Big the Cat is, is one of the most infamous characters, and on, this is why, because it's just a very, very bad addition to the game, because you're just like, when the hell is this going to end? I really don't want to freaking fish. And it doesn't, and the fishing system is even broken. It doesn't even work like the Sega Pro Base Fish series, or whatever it's called. So, Big the Cat story... Uh, Everyone, most people I know don't like it. And if you do like it, you either like fishing or you just like Big the Cat. <laughs> but then there's the other story that's praised as the best story in Sonic Adventure. And I have to disagree with that. That, obviously, is E106 Gamma. E106 Gamma, his backstory is basically that he's a robot created by Eggman. And he was working for Eggman, you know, he was the toughest robots of all of them, he defeated all of them. But then, he decides to turn good after he meets Amy Rose. And it's the story I kind of like, but the gameplay blows. 
of that. This is why. Because when you're playing this character, you, first the first thing you encounter is that it has a terrible aiming system. You can just keep blowing freaking rockets and it won't really do much. It has like an auto aim system already in the game. Like on the screen, you can't press a button or anything to do that. So that kind of sucks. And then another thing is that there's a time limit. Yep, time limit. And, you know, the time limit is incredibly cheap because if you don't get in there in the time limit, you just randomly explode for no reason at all. Ugh, there's like no explanation for it. It's like pointless. What the? Like, I enjoyed the stages. I could look past the terrible controls of the missiles if I could just play my freaking game. Like, I like to advance in the story no matter how bad or good it is. Because I want to see what happens in the end, whether it's mediocre or good. And I thought the ending of the story, uh, was good. In E106, yeah, I know. I'm not gonna spoil it because many people haven't played Sonic Adventure. And just the ending is people don't like it, but you know, it's, it was necessary because what else were they gonna do? But yeah, overall, Sonic Adventure is a great game besides the mess ups and the uh, two stories that are just pointless. And I just enjoyed it very much. I enjoyed playing it. I got much more enjoyment in Sonic Adventure than I did in any of the classic games. That's right. So, <laughs> what is this game worth? 98%. Better than any of the classic Sonic games I've ever played. That's right. True story. So, that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it.